Now, to prepare us for the first coding assignment, let's talk about Java servlets and J JSPs, or Java server pages. And so we, first of all, need to review what a web server is. So um, it says here, like, you need to know that a web server is there to interpret a collection of files. And so you can see some examples of files that we interpret, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JPEGs. And so the web server responds to requests from the browser, and they're called HTTP requests. And that stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So some web servers that you've probably seen are the Apache web server, uh, IIS from Microsoft, or WebSphere. So JBoss is a web server, and it also runs Java code. So how does a server work, especially this JBoss server? Well, on the left side, we've got the client. So Apache is the uh, right side. So the, the left side is either you know Chrome or Internet Explorer. And that's where the requests are initiated. Across the internet, it arrives then at the server. So a server can handle certain files really quickly, like static pages, HTML, JavaScript, or graphics. And if that's all the browser asked for, then they'll immediately be sent. However, if the application requires some processing, Apache will hand off its uh, control to another server, like the, the JBoss server. You might call that an application server. And so this is where the, um, the, the idea of a dynamic web page comes from. Every page is custom designed, printed, and recreated for the browser. And then, of course, you can see the response is, a, is an intelligent page that comes back to the web browser. A servlet is the basic idea behind a Java dynamic web page. So a servlet handles the request from the browser and generates uh, an HTML file in return. So a servlet is the lowest level component that you would find in a Java um, application on the web. So we're going to create a, a servlet as well as some JSP pages and we'll see those in just a moment. Here's what a code will look like. Uh, it's the default code that when you create a new servlet. You can see the two methods of get post and do, I'm sorry, get, do get and do post. So those are the two types of communications that come from forms on a web browser. The other half of this assignment is the JSP section. So uh, a Java server page, or JSP, is a page that has a mix of code on it. So HTML, as well as some Java expressions. So uh, it's like what you see in PHP. If you've ever programmed in PHP or in, in ASP, you'll have seen this uh, kind of method before. So it's been around since 1999, and we will be uh, using other technology pretty much to finish the, the main part of our app. But you have to see where we begin. So here's what a Java server page looks like. And so I mentioned it has a mix of code, so these uh, percent signs. Percent signs with a greater than and less than mark the beginning and the end of Java expressions. And so we mix on the page HTML tags along with Java code. So this shows the pages that are working in tandem. Uh, the code here on the left side is the uh, form. And you can see that it's a submit form with a post method. And we're going to ask for first and last name with a submit key. And so the green arrow leads us over to the servlet. And so this form was a post method. So we have the do post uh, method called. And we have the uh, do get request is the uh, second method that is called. We read the parameters from first and last name. And we insert those values into another page and return it as test response. So we'll be coding all of this step by step. So I mentioned that the uh, technology has been around for a long time. And we're only going to do one assignment using JSPs and, uh, and servlets. Everything that is done these days is working with frameworks, such as server faces or other MVCs. But uh, it's good to see where we started from back around uh, the year 2000. So let's get started here. We're going to go to the next video, which is I'm going to call activity 2A, which is building a servlet and a JSP page.